Hey guys, welcome to Woodwork Life. Today, I'm gonna to take a look at chisels. I've got seven Western chisels from some of the most popular manufacturers. Everything from $5 for four with the Aldi Work Zone chisel, all the way up to over 90 with the Veritas PMV11 chisel. I've got all three quarter inch chisels and I've sharpened them all to the same 27 degree bevel angle. I'm gonna to try to put these through their paces and try to really find out what's what and see if cheap chisels are really worth anything and see if some more expensive chisels are really worth the extra money. So thanks for joining me today and please like and share this video if you find it useful. Let's jump right into it. So a couple initial observations on these. From the Lee Nielsen all the way down to the Irwin Marples, I took them all to the uh, core stone just to kind of test to see how flat the back was. Now the Veritas and the Lee Nielsen were dead flat. The surprising thing here was the, uh, the Stanley Sweetheart was very near dead flat. You see it just has the one little hollow in the middle and that really isn't gonna affect performance. Now, these other chisels, which I'd probably put in the budget category from the Narex to the, the Irwin Marples. The Irwin Marples was actually uh, reasonably flat it's got a little bit of a hollow still, um, but the steel is fairly soft. So it's easy to, it was easier to get this one uh, closer to flat. I've still got some work to do on these. Um, of course, the, we weren't expecting a whole lot out of the Harbor Freight and the Aldi compared to its competition, but the Aldi has actually been reasonably flat, um, actually comparable to the Narex, which is quite a bit more expensive. I mean, the Aldi is $5 for a pack of four. Uh, these Narex are significantly more expensive. Now, the one big disappointment with the Narex is this steel is actually very hard, but the back of this uh, chisel out of the box is nowhere near flat. We've got this incredible hollow right here on the edge of the, uh, the back of the bevel, which this is a critical component to be flat. So, so that was actually kind of disappointing. As far as ergonomics and ease of use, you have two ends of the spectrum here. The Narex and the Irwin Marples have the thicker carpenter style handle. On the other end of the spectrum, the Lee Nielsen and the Stanley Sweetheart have the smaller socket style handle uh, used generally for cabinet making and more fine joinery. To my taste, the Harbor Freight, the Veritas, and the Aldi Work Zone chisel are just about right as far as ergonomics goes. The Aldi is probably just borderline, maybe close to too big. The Veritas is perfect with the smoothed edges and just the right size. The Harbor Freight, I don't really understand what's going on with the design, but it is a good size handle. For a balanced playing field, I corrected the angle on all of these chisels to 27 degrees, which was a couple degrees off of what they came out of the box. I ranked them from easiest to sharpen to hardest and most frustrating to sharpen. In this case, the Stanley Sweetheart was the easiest to flatten and the easiest to correct the bevel angle on. The Harbor Freight chisel, although not flat out of the box, was soft enough steel to correct and very easy to get a razor sharp edge on. The Veritas and Lee Nielsen are only here in the middle because the steel is so hard. It took a long time to correct the bevel angle, but the back was already flat out of the box, so that was nice to not have to deal with. But it took quite a bit of time to correct that bevel angle, even by a couple degrees. The, the Aldi, and this might vary just because of the inconsistencies in manufacturing, but this Aldi chisel was nowhere near flat and just took a long time to flatten. The steel was soft enough where it was easy to remove steel as I went. And the Narex and the Irwin Marples were really cursed by the same plague. They had very hard steel, but were nowhere near flat. So it took a long time to flatten the back. And even so, I just got a small section at the front flattened. And then at the, on the other end, it took a long time to flatten the bevel as well. The only thing that edged the Narex slightly ahead of the Irwin Marples is probably that the, it was the chisel out of all this group that was closest to 27 degrees right out of the box. Now that we're through the basics, it was time to try some joinery. I laid out some basic dovetails, nothing special here. I just wanted to try clearing out the waste with the chisels. I used this ancient, really dry, splintery pine just to make sure I didn't have any fun. I also laid out some tenon joints so I could test how well the chisels could pair. This was just construction grade Douglas fir. Last but not least was some hand cut dados. I laid these out in that awful pine as well. I tried all these joints, actually several of each of these joints, with all the chisels. It was by no means a scientific test, but 
I just wanted to get a feel for each of them and see how well they handled all the different joining tasks. From chopping, to pairing, to clearing out dovetail waste, all the chisels went through a little bit of everything. There's a couple of standouts, but they were all pretty capable. I mean, they are just chisels, right? To me, the Lee Nielsen chisel felt like it was built for chopping out dovetails. It was great for chopping, but it does still have a little bit of surface area at the bevels. That's where the Veritas beat it out for clearing out waste in those tight areas. It's nice to be able to use all the surfaces of a chisel. Those sharp corners really helped you with getting sharp edges on your dados. The Veritas is really the master at the hand cut dados. The chisel that really surprised me was the Aldi chisel. It did pretty good at everything all around. When it came to just straight pairing tasks though, the Narek chisel was very, very capable. The only place where any of these chisels really let me down was with the old hand hammer technique, or whatever you want to call it. The Narex and the Harbor Freight chisel have a little nub on the back end, so when you hit it with your hand, it leaves a nice wealth on you. The old socket chisels, the Lee Nielsen and the Stanley Sweetheart, are perfect at this technique though. After all that joinery, these chisels had the nerve to still be sharp, so I figured I'd fix that with the torture test and some Osage Orange. I cut mortises in this Osage Orange, one of the densest hardwoods in America. That'll test their edge retention. So not really surprising, but after all those torture tests, none of these chisels are really what I would call sharp anymore. The three real standouts that kind of came away from me in this shootout uh, the number one would probably be the Aldi chisel. Uh, Paul Sell always recommends this thing, and obviously for a reason. Uh, it's held its edge pretty well, it didn't roll an edge through all that. It's very easy to sharpen, uh, and, and it's just a fantastic tool for, I mean, it's $5 for four of these around Father's Day, so keep an eye out for these, these are pretty awesome. Uh, the other one, if I were to upgrade from the Aldi to something that was a little more precise, uh, I'd look at the Stanley Sweetheart. It's got that classic uh, socket chisel design, uh, it's even actually got a little bit longer blade than the, the chisel it was designed at, that's designed after it, the Lee Nielsen, which can be nice for like pairing activities and things like that. Um, still, still a little bit pricier, a lot pricier than the Aldi chisel, but probably worth it. Easy to flatten, comes fairly precise from the factory, good to work with. If I were to pick a lifetime chisel, it'd be a tough bet between the Lee Nielsen and the Veritas. They're both very, very strong steel. Um, they're both very, very well manufactured, totally flat backs right from the factory. Um, I mean, they're basically sharp out of the box. But the couple edges I would give to the Veritas is the blade is just a little bit longer, which makes it just a little more utilitarian for me. The handle is just a little more comfortable in my hand. I don't love that old socket chisel feel, but that's just me. And uh, overall, they're both just really good, and they probably both have a good place in your shop but I would pick the Veritas. The other piece that the, Ver the other thing the Veritas has over Lee Nielsen is that it doesn't have that flat on the edge. It's actually a pure bevel edge. It's actually sharp right there at the edge of the, of the back. So it can be a little bit nicer for cleaning up dovetails or like sneaking in there to, you know, get the edge of a, of a dado that you're trying to flatten out. Uh, it, really useful, really helpful. So if this is your first time finding me, please take a second to subscribe down below. And if you like this video, please like it and share it with your friends. Thanks for joining me today with Woodwork Life. And remember to keep your tools sharp and keep your mind even sharper.